Okay, everyone, I want to show you what I've been working on lately. This is a little circuit that I've come across. Uh, found it kind of interesting. It's a Bedini schoolgirl circuit. It's something I did a long time ago, probably six years ago, where I built a wheel, put some magnets on it, made myself a little coil, and actually got a little pulse motor running. It's just a simple transistor and a diode. Um, you'll see here in a little bit that you don't even need this resistor, although it does make it a lot more efficient. Uh, the nice thing about these circuits is that you can actually get uh, some charging effects out of it and charge other batteries or other devices with it. Um, the, the addition I'm doing here is a stepper motor. Um, instead of building a coil right here, I'm substituting that with a motor, and this setup is a lot better because the efficiency of a Bedini motor really depends on the quality of your build. And unless you do a, a really highly machined wheel with magnets on it, you're not going to get a whole lot of performance out of it. But with a stepper motor, it's already highly uh, high quality design. It has you know very high torque, and so with this little simple circuit. You can get this motor running at really high efficiency, high speeds, and it has a decent amount of torque that I'm actually kind of interested in hooking it up to a bicycle and seeing what kind of uh, help I could get out of pedaling with it. So we'll, we'll get into that in a different video. But I just kind of want to show you the setup right now. Um, I've got my little power supply at 10 volts and 2 amps. Uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, but you're really just running your power supply in through one side and you have four different wires so you can't really see that black wire but you have four different wires um, the two on the left are one coil and the two on the right are your se second coil so you have your power coming in to one coil and it comes back through and follow the green wire around to your collector on your transformer or on your transistor. Um, you have your single diode going from your base to your emitter. Make sure you get the direction on that correct. Um, and you have your other, your secondary coil, or what they call the trigger coil. And you have one side of it going just to your ground or onto your emitter. And the other side of your trigger coil goes around and over to your base. Okay, so your power supply goes in and then comes through your coil and goes here to your collector in the center. Then you have your ground and your secondary trigger coil and the other side of your trigger coil here. So it's a really simple setup. And if you look here at the circuit again, you got your stepper motor the way it's built, red and blue on one side. Wait for it to adjust here. Okay, and then black and green on the other side. So I kind of started to draw black and green. This would be red and blue. So anyway, let's get on to the performance of it. So I turn on my power supply. Okay. And you have to give it a little wind up. I noticed this thing only spins clockwise. If I wanted to switch directions, I just have to switch the two wires over here over to there. So you're just switching the two coils. So the power supply and, and your power out would go over on these two, and these two wires would go over here on that side. And then you would switch directions. I'll go ahead and give it a spin up. You can see that's spinning. It's got a little bit of a hum to it. It's going pretty quick. Got my flyback. This little neon here that kind of gives you the indication that it's getting some power back out of the collapsing fields. Now let's see, go over here, 10.6 volts. Let's see if I can make that even 10 volts there. Yeah, pretty close. Okay, at 0.3 amps. So that's a little more than... Well, almost three, 3 watts. Okay, now with an addition, there's no extra, as you can see on the circuit, I've omitted the resistor 
So I'm just going straight in there without any resistance. And here I'm going to go to pause it and add the resistor and you'll see what kind of effects it has on the motor. All right, so what I've done here is just I've added a simple DC light bulb, direct current light bulb. Uh, it's about 20 ohms. It's not a whole lot of resistance, but you'll see it makes a huge effect on the speed of the motor. So that's spinning a lot quicker. You actually get some light out of the bulb but it's using a little bit more of your amperage. It's about 0.2 more amps, so a quarter more of an amp. But you're getting a lot more speed, and it actually has quite a lot of torque on it before it'll shut down. It almost rips the motor out of my hand, so that's really Compared to a regular Bedini motor, that thing has a lot more torque and a lot more work going for it. So I'll do one more thing to improve the performance of this. And I'm going to hook up a power supply coming out of the flyback part of it. So I've got my little diode here. I'm just going to connect it to the connector. And the other side will go to the power. And you'll see the flyback power out of this. Okay. So as you can see, now I've got power coming out of here. It's a high voltage. You can see whenever I disconnect it and connect it, you can hear the motor actually changing pitch. So this thing's really going now. And that's as fast as it can go. But my amperage again goes up. So whether that's more efficient, I uh, don't know, but it's making the motor run a lot faster. It still has a huge amount of torque on it. And it really doesn't want to die. On most Bedinis, all you have to do is put your finger pressure on there and it'll die. Just like that. And just starts right back up. So anyway, I thought this was an interesting Definitely an improvement from my homemade Bedini motor that I made six years ago. So, I don't know. I might hook this up, see what kind of power I can get. I'm sure it won't be strong enough to run a bicycle, but it definitely would help. Especially on those hills. So, if I come across anything else, I'll update this and get you some more videos.